So, Lockie, brothers and sisters, last night I did not realize that the ending part of this epistle uh, had been cut off. I didn't, I didn't realize it. So, Lockie, so I'm putting part, I'm just making this part two uh, quickly. I'm giving all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekakadash. And giving double the honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutation to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land wherever it goes. Shout out brothers and sisters. Quick act of rebellion. Because it seems like some people forgot or they are ignorant to why you should fear Yahweh Hashem Hashem. This is the book of Numbers chapter 16 verse 23. And the Lord spoke to Moses saying, Speak unto the congregation, saying, Great, saying, Get ye up from about the tabernacle of Korah, Dathan, and Abram. And Moses rose up and went unto Dathan and Abram, and the elders of Israel followed him. And he spoke unto the congregation, saying, Depart, I pray ye, for the tents of these wicked men, and touch nothing of theirs, lest ye be consumed in all their sins. Right? So they get up from the tabernacle of Korah, Dathan, and Abram, and every side, on every side, and Dathan and Abram came out and stood in the door of the, their tents and their wives and their sons and their little children. And Moses said, Hereby ye all know that the Lord has sent me to do all these works, for I have not done them of my own mind. Okay? If these men die the common death of all men, or if they be visited after the visitation of all men, then the Lord have not sent me. Whoa, you know, you know what I'm talking about? But if the Lord make a new thing, and the earth open her mouth and swallow them up, with all that apparent obtain unto them, and they go down quickly into the pit, then ye shall understand that these men have provoked Yahweh Hashem Hashem. Plain and simple, right? And it came to pass, as he had made an end of speaking all these words, that the ground clave asunder and was under them, that was under them. And the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up and their houses, and all the men that up that appertained, appertained unto Quran and all their goods. They and all that appertained to them went down alive into the pit and the earth closed up on them. And they perished from among the congregation. And all Israel that were round about them fled at the cry of them. So, like it, brothers and sisters, I, I, uh, yeah, I knew it. You know, I told you that battery might die, man, and it did. It just died. So, but li yeah, let's get right back into it. So that we were at uh, Numbers, Numbers chapter 16. Let's we'll start back at 34. And all Israel that were round about them fled at the cry of them, because they were like, ah! for they said, least the earth swallow us up also. And there came out a fire from Yahweh Hashem Hashem and consumed the 250 men that offered incense. So, amen. You know, and that's just a, one of the many wonderful things that Yahweh Hashem Hashem has done, man. That's why we fear Yahweh Hashem Hashem. That's why we fear the Lord, you know. The Lord is nothing to be played with. He's greatly to be feared, man. And greatly to be praised as well. And that's why we always talk about staying on the Lord's good side, you know, doing things to please you, how about you, not shy? Not to provoke him to anger, you know? And just like the scriptures say, uh, being returned to you, how about you, not shy? Seek him ten times harder, man. Seek him ten times harder, you know, more. Because it's a it's a privilege, man. It's mercy, and just looking 
And the example of all the other Israelites out there just blinded, blind as a bat. They're still out there voting, still out there motherfucking marching and shit. Still out there in these wicked ass churches calling upon the name false god and false idols, so called name Jesus Christ. The ones that still uh, caked up with their iniquities, you know, sin upon sin upon sin upon sin. Amen. All praises to Yahweh Hashem Hashem for calling us out of darkness into His marvelous light. You know, glorify the Lord by doing what He's asked us to do, man. And wait on Him. Just have faith in the Lord. That's all He really is asking us to do. Have faith in Him. Everything else, you know, we do it daily. Just you know, as an unprofitable servant, it's a reasonable service. This is life. This is what we do. There's nothing else. There's nothing else going on. We're in Esau Edom's kingdom. This is our captivity. You know what the heck? Whatever, man. We're about to close it up, brothers and sisters. We only got uh, two more scriptures to read, and we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Okay, let's go to the book of Luke. Chapter 19, verse 27. I'm just going to read the last part of this. But those mine enemies, which would not, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. You see what I'm talking about? Bring them and slay them before me. Because why? If you don't want to serve Yahweh Shem Al Shai, if you don't want to do what he not asked you to do, you know, like the uh, elders are saying, women, just be quiet when you come on the coming board. You don't want to, you don't want to do that. They keep warning y'all. You know, this woman here that I was talking about, she, you know, she don't, she probably not even listening to Great Millstone. You know, because they, they, that's what they do. Like the, uh, the the dude that I uh, sent videos to about Great Millstone. He didn't mention Great Millstone at all. He started talking about this damn other dude that's sitting on a fucking couch with his fucking wife. You know? Examine yourself. Whether you be in the faith, man. Let's go to the book of Psalms to get the last scripture. Psalms chapter 119 verse 9. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto, according to thy word. Taking heed to thy word. With my whole heart have I sought thee. Oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. Thy word. What the hell? Salaki, brothers and sisters. It's one of those commercials. They got them everywhere, man. They got them on the... Uh, the, the Bible Dictionary. And I wanted to look at that word, he. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto, according to thy word. And what is, what is the definition of he? To mind, to regard, with care, to take notice of, to attend to, to observe. Okay? Care, attention. Caution, care. Watch for danger. Notice. Con cir circumspection. Usually pre preceded by take. Take heed of evil company. Take heed of your ways. Okay? Notice. Observation. Regard. Attention. Often. Proceed. By. Give. Okay? The, the preacher gave good heed. Neither give heed to fables. Okay, these are just the suggestions, of course. Therefore, we ought to give the more, the more earnest heed. That's Hebrews chapter 2. Serious, seriousness. A steady look. A steady looks. Shalaki. A heed. Okay? So, yes, once again, heed. To mind. To regard. With care. To take notice. To attend to. To observe, man. Okay? Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed to attend to, to take care of, okay? To observe, to follow, to do, be doers of the word. According to thy word, with my whole heart have I sought thee. So with my whole heart will I have I sought thee. Oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. Thy word have I hid in my heart 
that I may, might not sin against thee. Because you don't want to, you, you want to be with you, how about you not shy? You don't want to be against him, okay? And that's the whole point, brothers and sisters. That's it. And, you know, at this particular time, the Lord has granted us mercy. You know, he's given us teachers according to his own heart. The elders and apostles of great millstone with the 100% truth. You know, he, he, he's shown us signs in heaven. He's, he's given us these scriptures, you know, to go by so we can understand uh, that he's, he's right around the corner. He's, he say he's right at the door, you know. He's given us a promise of salvation, you know. All we have to do is be patient, do the work, be grateful, man. And believe in how about you, my child? You know? And hope. Have faith in the Lord. Have faith in the Lord. And you show your faith by doing exactly what He done told you to do, man. Okay, so I don't want to keep dragging it out. I don't want to drag it out. So, so with that, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, and Kakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word. Follow the land wherever it goes. Shalom Israel. Shalom.